I'm at the Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport and after a long day of flying a vision jet in South Florida, it's time to do a compressor wash. Let's go for it. I am here with Al, Water Al, Al Waterloo down in uh, at Banyan Aviation at Fort Lauderdale Executive and we're showing you how to do an engine wash on a Cirrus vision jet. We just sprayed two gallons of water through the engine. Now Al's going to dry motor it for 30 seconds. I'm going to get up on the wing and throw some two gallons of water through it while he dry motors it. I'm on top of the vision jet wing. You can see right here the little sandpaper. It's designed to get up in the mornings when you're pre-flight you have to pull this red cover off. But you can start to see inside of the engine here, this is what it looks like. This is the Williams FJ33 engine. And what we're gonna do is just spray around, um, uh, spray some water all inside of here. And it seems weird just spraying water inside of the engine. Um, and it just, uh, you know, in, in the most expensive component of the airplane. But believe me, it's a thing that you need to do and it's totally worth it. You're gonna see a lot of water come out the back end. Perfectly fine because we're getting, we're, we're doing the salt water rinse, um, which is getting all of any type of uh, salts uh, build up on the engine just fly, flying around in a heavily salinated um, atmosphere like South Florida is. So if you live along the coast, uh, specifically along Florida, California or so, very good procedure to do and, uh, and all. So next step. Other jet owners are looking at us going, well, what are those guys doing? What do they know that we don't know? We're going to use all two gallons here. And you'll see the water is draining out the back the way it's supposed to. All right, Bob is up on the uh, on the wing right now, ready to spray. I'm in the cockpit. We're going to dry motor the engine, so we'll see what uh, what all this turns out to be here. But it should be nice and easy. And um, here we go. Let's dry motor. All right, we're in the cockpit of the SF50. I just turned the batteries on here. That's all we'll need for this. 
but uh, just to make sure our dry motor procedure, very, very important, the run knob is to off. This will cause dry motoring only. If we want to run, the fuel would go on and then we'd start firing off. So anyway, here we are. We've got, uh, we're in the off position and there's a limitation of 30 seconds. So I'm gonna press and hold this button for about 30 seconds while Bob sprays. Let's go ahead and uh, just make sure he's ready. You all set, Bob? All right, he's ready in three, two, one. Motoring here, we've got N, N2 spooling up, the temperature, the e ITT is coming down because we're getting fresh air and cold water going through. All right, we've got that. Starter's engaged, and now I'm gonna go ahead and release. Got that. Battery's coming back. It's looking good. All right. How'd we do, Bob? We did great. Now the next step is we got to start the engine to let it run for five minutes to let it dry off. All right, you heard the guy. Let's go ahead and, and dry the engine out. So we're going to power up the, the engine and let it let it dry out and uh, and all that. Before we do that, I'm going to go around the back and see what's going on just to see what kind of uh, what stuff came out. All right, it's time to run the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the on uh, the run position. That's all done, Bob's clear, and we are ready to go. Go ahead and press our button. Looking for a good light off. There it goes. Now, just sit here idle for five minutes, set our timer, go to start. There we go. And that, my friends, that's a compressor wash. It seems kind of intimidating when you first get into it, but when you actually get through the process and you take your time to sit and organize yourself, it's really easy. And it's really important to do because you don't wanna get stuck with any type of corrosion bill um, that's not covered underneath your engine program. So please, please, please make sure you do your compressor washes. They're very simple. I'll link to some hardware that we had in the video below the fire extinguisher, the air compressor, um, just even some normal water jugs that can help you uh, do this. Um, whether you fly a vision jet or any other turbine airplane, it's really important. This is just specifically how we do it on the vision jet, but um, your airplane, if you fly something different or engine manufacturer may have a different procedure, but it's likely that they will have some type 
of compressor wash. So after a great day of flying here in Florida and low level shooting instrument approaches, the engine's happy. We're super glad to have it. We can go to bed tonight knowing that we've taken care of all of our little punch list items. So anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you do like this video, please consider doing that, share it and all that. So until next time, have a great flight and be safe.